20th part of the series and in this part we will implement um, the player control system or the player input system we'll call it so we can begin by making a new class and name this um, player input system great yes so uh, what this class will do is basically it will handle all of the inputs of our player so we can um yeah so create the class player input system and it will be again a singleton class so the constructor and the structure are public i mean private so play oh. Player input system and the destructor. So player, oh, player input system. Then for our uh, static constructors, so static get player input system else and it should return a player input system at and static void destroy player input system so again this is very basic stuff I'm going to your player input system .cpp file and let's now implement all of that Okay, so here is the implementation. Uh, make sure to watch out that this is a static variable and uh, that you return the object. So put an asterisk before the, um, the player input system, and yeah. So if we run this now, uh, we still can move our mouse. Well, in an FPS game, our mouse should be disabled. Uh, so it's best that we disable our mouse by default but that there still is a way to enable the mouse again. So, uh, yeah, because we need to, uh, the mouse to actually close the window. So, um, go to player system, player input system dot, uh, cp, uh, dot h and include and include and include glfw slash glf dot h and then um, go to player input system .cpp. Now, um, so there is um, so GLW pr uh, provides this function called GLF set uh, key uh, callback, and what this does, this function. Um, with this function, we can actually set a function that will be called every time a key is pressed. And this function needs two arguments. The first one is the GLF, uh, so our current window. So simply for the first argument to GLF, get current window, like that. And for the second one, we actually need a pointer to a function which uh, GLW needs to call when the key is pressed and let's actually make that function in this class so go to player input system dot h again and make this public and static please so make this uh, static uh, player input system sorry uh, static it will be void and call this uh, key callback key callback and do like fun before it so uh, key callback fun and now this needs a couple of arguments the first one is glw window then the second one is int key so this argument is for the key which will be uh, which was pressed then the second one is the is int scan code this is something uh, of the OS, we can't really, well, it's not for us, but it, it needs to be here. 
and the second and the fourth one is the action so press or released or repeat and then int mods so if shift was being pressed or uh, or alt um, then now this is a static void function now let's actually make a method out of this so simply copy this and paste this in the private section and remove the fun so now we have a method and an actual static function implement this so I'll simply copy this so I don't have to type it again and then so uh, in player input system.cpp uh, put pointer and I'll paste this so pointer and the name of the function without any parentheses so like this and close it so now and also without the void so simply like this and now it will and this page so w will know what function to, uh, to call now um, let's implement them so play input system input system and let's like format this a, a, a little bit so it's all nice like this and voila and now let's actually implement the method version and this will be the same only it does not have the form and again player input system like this let's form this also okay now this looks nice um, now from this function let's do the following let's do player input system player input system equals at get player input system and then player input system uh, key callback and then use all of the arguments so window key scan code action and mods like this okay um, so now let's try this out so let's simply yeah, now in the method, not in the function, do std cout something like test, like test and, and std and line. Let's run this and we get an error, no problem. Oh yes, in the header file I mistyped, uh, yes it's, dot, it's 3, like this, we get an error, still, no, that's right. No, it should work. Still, okay. One more error. Yes, mistyped here. So, yes, okay, now. Yes, now, if you press a key, you can see it does not register it for some reason. Okay. Okay, so very stupid of me. We don't actually create a system. So go to your game manager, .cpp, uh, I mean dot, dot h let's create so uh, first include the system so include include uh, player input system dot h uh, let's actually create it so player player input system underscore player input system and then game manager dot cpp let's created so underscore player input system at get no at player input system dot get player input system like this and, and let's also destroy it so player input system destroy player input system like that and now if you're not please work and now still nothing happens So everything was working just fine. I just didn't activate the console in my ID. So you can see here in the bottom right corner that we get test printed to the console. So it's working. Now, to disable our mouse, 
initially. So what we will do is simple. In our in our constructor here, we will call a function called in our um, play input system get play input system function we will do uh, glf set input set input mode. So glf set input mode. Then the first argument is the window. So glf get current context. Then uh, what input mode um, we want to teach GLF cursor so GLF cursor I want to set it to GLF cursor disabled so by default it will be disabled now of course this isn't optimal for us because then how uh, how can we be close the window so in the in the key callback method do if if the key so if key equals uh, glf and let's pick uh, escape so glf key escape so if you press escape and if the action there are three actions there is press release and enter so if the enter action uh, so if it was the press action, so it's shell underscore press. Then, uh, and also one more. If, um, if now, uh, one more. If the uh, if shell cursor disabled is the current input mode, so shell get input mode. Or for our current window, so GLF get current context and the GLF cursor. So if our cursor is currently the, uh, disabled and the current input mode and and the escape the key was pressed, then we want to do GLF set input mode window. So again, GLF get current context mode glf cursor to glf oh glf cursor to dot glf cursor yes to glf cursor normal voila and then we can also do like an else else simply uh, and if the escape key was pressed but or GLF cursor is is disabled. We can simply do, we can um, disable it again. So GLF set input mode. Uh, GLF get current context. GLF cursor. GLF cursor, and again, we will disable it. So GLF cursor disabled. So now when we we press escape a second time, our cursor. We'll get disabled again. So if we run this again, our cursor is disabled. Now if you press escape, it actually doesn't work. Oh. God damn it. So it was not working, but it's an interesting mistake. What's happening is this function also uh, gets called when the key gets released. So when we release the key, actually this gets called. And our cursor is again disabled. So to fix this is quite simple. Um, simply do the following. Yes. So remove this. We will make out of this uh, an if block on itself. So there will be one big if block when the cursor. So when the S key. So when the escape key is pressed, then make inside the if block a new if block. And if our cursor is disabled, only then. Uh, only then uh, do all of this. So now, if our key is pressed, so if the escape key a key is pressed and the cursor is disabled, only then uh, enable it again. So if we run this now, and, we, and so there is no cursor now, and if you press on escape, our cursor again works. And escape again, and 
and our cursor is again disabled. So okay, and that was it for today. And yeah, and hopefully we will implement something new tomorrow. I was thinking on oh, some player movement, maybe I'm not sure. Well, anyway, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So yeah, till then.